Today I just wanted to address a question that I've gotten a few times uh, on one of my old videos which I'll link um, up here or up here wherever it goes where I have some issues with the water cooler not turning on on the Kempi Master TIG 235. Um, so I have a solution for that thanks to the comments on that video and I just wanted to make a video about what you need to do to this machine to add a CK torch or an aftermarket torch to the machine. So I went with the CK uh, number 20 flex, nice little compact torch, really really like it. The first thing that needs to be taken care of is the connection to the machine. So I went ahead and uh, made this little dense adapter. So I've taken the factory plug off the Kempi torch, uh, I've just spliced a, um, a little quick release coupler. Uh, for the argon line and a little dense adapter just put a female side on the machine side and um, you can buy these from CK when you pick up your new torch uh, so I've just made that as a little adapter there that screws back into the front of the Kempi machine so you can see here uh, we've got the we've got the water cooler switched on to auto if we just pop the foot pedal there, you can hear we've got argon coming out of the torch, but the water cooler is inactive. If we jump in here and switch it to on, you can hear it turn on. So it makes sense uh, when we fit this torch set up to simply unplug. Um, I just discarded, got rid of the factory switch. Um, which I thought was just the um, push button on the TIG torch, but evidently um, the plug for this is actually communicating to the machine uh, what kind of torch is fitted. So if you had an air-cooled torch, uh, it would know not to turn the, the water cooler on. So that's something that the plug does. So I've gone ahead here and um, just taking the plug off of the old torch. Hopefully I'll be able to show you what's going on here. So I've just got this looped wire. So this wire is actually looped from factory. Um, so for me it was looped uh, in here already. Uh, possibly depending on what torch and if you've got an aftermarket brand with a plug on it, uh, it might be looped at the uh, switch end. So uh, I guess that's why I'm sort of showing this. So inside here, um, we've got all the pins and they're, they're marked alphabetically. What we want to jump here is pin F and pin G. So as long as pin F and pin G, so we could, we could probably just do that with a jump wire, but I'm not going to risk it on this machine. Uh, jump that and then the, uh, the water cooler will know, or the, the machine will know that we've connected a water cooled torch. So let me just connect this with all the wires hanging out so you can see exactly what's going on with it working here. And the water cooler is running on the machine. So with the CK torch, everything uh, connected without the factory torch. So all we're doing there is jumping pin F and pin G and um and our water cooler will operate uh, so hopefully you found that useful it was certainly a big issue for me uh, especially having to leave the water cooler on all the time uh super irritating uh, it's a really loud water cooler on this machine um, so hopefully jumping those pins solves your problem if there's anything else you want to see on this machine or about this machine let me know and um, i'd be happy to do a video on it in the future take it easy guys and i'm going to see you in the next one